Welcome back and we're still on Q&A with our guest this week, Mr. Mike Andrew Cheng, Managing Director of Solar Transport Automotive Resources, the official distributors of BYD vehicles in the country. Before you had uh, something while we were off camera? Yes, to ask. Um, obviously we're a very sport utility vehicle oriented market here in the country. You know? um, being the um, electric car leader, are you looking down that road of seeing um, electric sport utility vehicles coming up in the market? Um, yes, actually there is. We're, we, BYD has plans of launching uh, what we call the Tang. The Tang is the second dynasty of China. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's basically a SUV which has a 2-liter turbo engine and 250 horsepower each mm -hmm. electric motors producing a total of 500 horsepower. 500 horsepower. That's something to, that's look, something forward to look forward to. Yes. maybe by the end of 2015. That's pretty that's close. Soon, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry about having interrupted your explanation <laughs> of the Chin Dynasty. Yes. Can you go back to this, please? Okay. Uh, the BYD Chin is the BYD second generation hybrid. We call it the plug-in hybrid. Okay. So it has basically three modes. The first one in pure electric mode, it has a electric motor producing 150 horsepower and a 50 kilometer range. So the idea is when you use it on your daily commute, you normally people who live in a city use less than 50 kilometers a day. Then when you get home, you just plug it in, you charge it. The cost to charge is about 100 pesos. It will take you about four to five hours to charge from zero to 100%. The second mode is when you need to travel long distances. The 1.5 turbo engine and the electric motor, motor will work hand in hand to extend the range. And with this mode, you can do 50 kilometers per liter. The third mode is what we call power. Um, both the 1.5 turbo engine and the 150 horsepower electric motor will combine its output and produce 300 horsepower, accelerating the vehicle from 0 to 100 in less than 6 seconds. Very exciting. Very. Mark, I, uh, well, I heard through the grapevine that you're, uh, <laughs> uh, you're also uh, planning to uh, join in a motorsport with a uh, motorsport program of yours. Can you... Uh, can you uh, Tell us more about it. You have a very good source. <laughs> um, actually, we have plans. Oh, we are in the planning stage of joining one of the motorsports um, in Manila. Uh, we're lining up our subcompact car, and um, hopefully, with the right efforts, uh, we hope we can win. So exciting. <laughs> yeah, we have time exciting. for two more questions, people. Yeah. Um, so where do you see BYD five years down the road? We hope to be part of the top 10 within the next five years. Uh, I know it is very ambitious, uh, but we think in terms of product, the products can speak for themselves. Uh, it has very good value, uh, very relevant features. And if we are able to position or, or communicate our strengths well, then hopefully we will be able to achieve our ambitious goal of being the, one of the top 10 and the first China brand to become part of the prestigious top 10 in the Philippines. What would be, you mentioned about strengths, what would be your strongest point? What would you be working on uh, among your strongest points to achieve this ambition of being one of the top 10? I think our strongest point is relevant technology. The, the remote control feature of our cars, if you, it, it may seem that it's just a toy. However, if you use the car for one, two weeks and understand this feature, you would be surprised how convenient it is to start the car without being inside, eliminating all the, the weather because we are a hot country and uh, the, the units, when you're inside, it's very hot when it's parked outside the sun. Uh, we, we are also very forward-thinking, in which we have um, a smartwatch. And our smartwatch acts as the proximity key. 
So, which means you don't even have anything on your pocket anymore. You yep. just have to wear the watch and walk towards your vehicle, press the button and unlock, and start the car, drive off. So, I think that's our strength, uh, relevant technology. Uh, what will make us successful in the Philippines is number one, properly communicate these strengths that our buyers value. And I think ultimately, it is still customer satisfaction. We have pledged to make and to ensure all BYD customers are satisfied with their vehicles. And I hope we can keep this promise. Uh, Mark, you mentioned the, that you're launching the Chin next year, a hybrid vehicle. Well, uh, you, you've also, your company's also been actively campaigning for, uh, with the, lobbying the government to pass the alternative fuels uh, bill. Does this mean it's going to be passed by next year? That's um, why you're launching are, a new hybrid? <laughs> Uh, we are very um, we are very hopeful that uh, this bill is passed. We are providing tremendous support to Congress and to Senate and information about successes in other countries. Uh, and I hope with the joint efforts of BYD um, and the Electric Vehicle Association of the Philippines and key government officials, I hope we can be at par with our neighboring countries in having a uh, alternative fuel bill for the transport sector. Okay, I guess that's all the time we have uh, for our Q&A this week at Autofocus. I'd like to thank you so much for uh, spending time with us, Mike. Sure. Before we let you go, would you have any parting words to our viewers? Please, the camera is yours. I hope uh, I can invite everyone to drop by our showroom, any of our showrooms in BYD. The first one is at BYD Shaw Boulevard. It's at 312 Shaw Boulevard, Mandaluyong City. We're right across Yellow Cab. And the second one is uh, BYD North Edsa. It is on the southbound lane uh, fronting SM North Edsa. I hope you can view and experience uh, BYD vehicles and see uh, how we can help your daily commute and make your uh, daily commute more um, convenient. So thank you, thank you, Tito Butch. Thank you th so much. And uh, you mentioned that your your Show Boulevard dealership is just across uh, uh, what pizza parlor is it? Uh, Yellow Cab. Yellow Cab. So a test drive comes with a piece of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that concludes the Autofocus Q and A this week. May I thank our guest motoring journalist, Mr. Branco. It's a pleasure. And Mr. Biboy Vargas for joining us, and of course our distinguished guest on Q and A this week, Mr. Mike. And you check. Uh, stay tuned for more about the automobile and its industry here on Autofocus, the Philippine Motor Show on television. We'll have more personalities from the automobile industry on the spotlight on our future presentations of Autofocus Q&A.